Hello everyone, my name is Niles and welcome to today's video. Today I'll be covering GitHub USD and discovering a bit about how their system serves as a bridge between blockchain and our traditional financial system. So without further ado, right in. GitHub is a UK-based multinational technology company that specializes in development of financial services and products, which includes blockchain-based global settlement systems, an interledger-based payment scheme, and a digital wallet, as well as a fiat on and off-ramp service. GitHub also offers a stablecoin option that is designed to be pegged to the value of the US dollar. GitHub's USD is currently available on the XRP ledger and can be traded in multiple places, including on ZUM and the Sologenic DEX. So why is it important to focus on a gateway such as GitHub and what role does it play in the broader adoption of blockchain technology in financial markets? As more regulatory compliant gateways open between blockchain-based financial infrastructure and our traditional financial system, the greater the adoption that we can see of assets tokenized on a distributed ledger. This includes assets like stocks, bonds, derivatives, or fiat currencies in the form of stable coins or CBDCs. So regarding stable coins, the GitHub USD and general crypto liquidity. As I mentioned previously, GitHub USD is currently available on the XRPL. In the current environment, we've got USDT Tether, comprising roughly 7% of the total crypto market cap, standing essentially as the main pool of stable liquidity in the crypto ecosystem. And in order to actualize more resilient liquidity in the crypto ecosystem, pools of deep and stable liquidity that matches regulatory compliance standards while residing on an efficient and secure blockchain infrastructure could be an important puzzle in the broader adoption of blockchain technology into our traditional financial system. So having stable coins on the XRPL with deep liquidity behind them is key because institutions need access to deep liquidity in order to conduct trade. Without it, investors who may be uncertain about their ability to liquidate will likely be deterred or demand higher returns to compensate for the additional risk, driving up cost of capital and making it increasingly difficult for businesses to fund their growth. The greater liquidity available on the XRPL, the more accessible and usable it becomes for enterprises and the general public. Next, we'll check out GitHub's business model. GitHub's business model, in my understanding, is primarily focused on generating revenue from trading fees and commissions. The platform charges fees for executing trades and exchanging cryptocurrencies which varies depending on the type of transaction and the amount of cryptocurrency involved. Additionally, GitHub may generate revenues through interest earned on the cryptocurrencies stored in its wallets, as well as other services like offering merchant solutions and consulting services for businesses. Overall, the company's revenue model is based on providing a secure and user-friendly platform for buying, selling, and storing crypto, and generating revenue through the fees and commissions. Next, we have the GitHub Wallet. So the GitHub Wallet enables you to manage assets on multiple wallets, send and receive payments via the XRPL, SEPA, International Wire, and more. Hosted wallets on GitHub are free to use, needs no trust line to accept any currency, and is booked on an internal private ledger. In addition to the ability to receive and send and exchange funds, they can also be used to stream payments via Interledger. GitHub currently supports deposits and withdrawals for the US dollar, the Euro, British Pound, along with many other of the top cryptocurrencies, including BTC, USDC, and XRP. GitHub supports the US, Canada, UK, and many other worldwide countries. GitHub wallets also enable you to trade multiple assets on the XRP Ledger DEX. The GitHub wallet service is made secure through features such as two-factor authentication, AES encryption, passwords, and an optional multi-sig. So I hope some of this information in this video can help to navigate GitHub services. 
As more regulatory compliant gateways open between blockchain based financial infrastructure and our traditional financial system, the greater adoption that I believe we can expect to see for tokenized assets, stable coins, web monetization, and much more. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.